Hello friends, my name is Nitish Raj and today we are going to study about optimal substructure. What is optimal substructure? As we study for a dynamic programming, for dynamic programming technique to be used for solving the optimization problem, we need to have two property. First property is optimal substructure and the second property is overlapping sub problems. Overlapping sub problems, if you have seen my previous video of what is dynamic programming, I have explained about overlapping sub problems. If uh, you can see, you can find out the Fibonacci where I saw the overlapping problems. Now in this lecture, we will study about optimal substructure. So what is optimal substructure? Optimal substructure means that optimal solution to a bigger problem, right? Optimal solution. What do you mean by optimal? Either it is maximum or minimum, right? There are many possible solution for that. Let's say you have coin of one, two and three and four you need to find out how many coins are used and which coins are used to make sum of eight there are so many solution one 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 there are infinite supply of this one 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 so this is eight times or two coin to take four of this coin to three plus three plus two so there are many ways to find out there are many solution to this but what is optimal either it is the minimum number of coin is used or the maximum number of coin is used for making eight that is the optimal solution now so we have a bigger problem let's say this is size n right so the optimal solution of this problem having size n is based on optimal solution of the sub problems means if we divide this sub problems let's say in three part so solution of this entire problem should be should come from solution from this solution from this solution from this it means let's say the smaller part is n dash right so when we are finding our solution for this size n we split this problem into smaller problem and one of the size is n dash so now we will only find the optimal solution of n dash if we find this optimal solution of n dash so this will help us in finding the solution for this bigger problem so we can say a problem is said to so this ha, this problem will have optimal substructure why because the solution of its sub problems giving us optimal solution in a simple manner we can say a problem is said to have an optimal substructure if an optimal solution can be constructed efficiently from optimal solution of its sub problems so optimal sub optimal solution for this bigger problem that can be constructed easily if we find optimal solution of its sub problems this property is used for dynamic programming now what see typically we have a greedy algorithm right you know in greedy algorithm we greed for something and we are computing seeing the next benefit right so if a problem p has only optimal substructure property then greedy algorithm is beneficial but if the problem has optimal substructure plus overlapping sub problem also 
overlapping sub problem also in this case we should use dynamic approach so if problem has optimal substructure but don't have overlapping sub problem use uh, greedy algorithm and if problem has overlapping substructure and uh, sorry optimal substructure and overlapping sub problem use dynamic approach now if problem doesn't have any optimal substructure and overlapping sub problem then do not use this greedy algorithm or dynamic approach just use the straight forward search for the solution that is uh, might be naive will be in best in that case i don't know so let us take an example is there any problem whose optimal substructure is not found M many people says wherever there is a recursion used all problem has optimal substructure wrong now let us take a very simple example so example will be let's say we have a point a we have a point b point c point d point e sorry so what is the let us denote this l a comma d that is the longest path from a to d what is the longest path from a to d it is l of longest path from a to b plus longest path from b to d if you see we have a bigger problem we divided into two sub problems that longest path of ab plus longest path of bd when we compute longest path from so optimal solution to this bigger problem should come from this will be this will have optimal structure only if optimal solution for this bigger problem similar way we find the optimal solution for this sub problem right so what is the longest distance between a and b longest distance between a and b is a e d c and b so it will be this path right and what is the longest length between b and d is this this path so if you see this path plus this path the total sum is greater than the longest path between a and d so solution of these two is not providing the solution for this bigger problem so longest path is not optimal sub structure now take a, the shortest path so what is the shortest path between a and d it is shortest path of a plus shortest path of ed which is correct the shortest path is a itself and ed so solution of this plus this provides the solution of this bigger problem so for shortest path problem in this graph is providing us the optimal sub structure right so here we stop for optimal sub structure and you know about optimal uh, overlapping sub problems if these two property holds for any of the optimization problem then we apply dynamic programming approach thank you have a nice day